Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got one little isolated shower tonight just off to the northwest of Covington. This is slowly drifting to the southeast. Here's the city of Covington. So if this holds together, may affect you here over about the next half an hour. At least it's going to affect areas just to the west of the Wabash River here. So a very small, brief downpour from that little cell. We've got a few other little cells bubbling up here and there in northern and eastern Illinois and a few over here in Ohio. So I think as we get into the night tonight, still can't rule out at least a couple of isolated storms to pop here and there in our viewing area. And once those get out of here, uh, later on tomorrow, I think we'll get into a bit of a tranquil regime, capped atmosphere like we've got out here in the plains, and it's really going to heat up. Then as we head towards early next week on the edge of what looking to be a pretty significant heat wave to our southwest, I think we'll get a cluster of storms, kind of like what we've got out here in Nebraska tonight. That will pass through on Monday, and we could have another one of those on Tuesday. But tonight, though, it's just a muggy Hoosier evening. The dog days sure feels like the dog days of summer are here with hazy sunshine every day and overnights that are muggy as well. Temperatures today ran around 90 for the high, 90 Logan's Port, 90 was our high here at the station. We hit 90 at Remington and Fowler and heat indices were well into the mid 90s and still some people out there tonight on the pedestrian bridge. A little breeze out of the east and northeast and temperatures are still pretty muggy running in the 70s area wide, 76 Logan's Port, Monticello, as well as Lafayette and 75 at Frankfurt. So still at least a couple isolated storms tonight through the day tomorrow. Winds light out of the north east northeast. High temperature 89 tomorrow and a little humid as well. The heat index will be running in the 90s. There are your isolated storm chances again tonight into tomorrow, but then it's really going to heat up, especially towards the weekend. Temperatures warming into the 90s and like I said, perhaps a couple rounds, a little more organized storm action Monday and Tuesday. So after an isolated storm or two tonight, a little patchy fog in places will drop generally into the 60s area wide, 66 West Point and about 66 at Pine Village over towards Attica and tomorrow I get a pretty hot day. Upper 80s to right around 90, 89 Lafayette and Frank for 88 Monticello, 87 for the folks up there in Remington over towards Kentland and Goodland and about 87 there at Morocco. So after today on the comfort meter in the sticky to oppressive range, we're going to stay there tomorrow, but then over the weekend, we're going to move in that oppressive category. Dew points in the low 70s. When you combine that with temperatures in the 90s, the heat index could be around 100, perhaps 102 degrees. So there are your isolated storms tomorrow at 89 as the front washes out. We're fine Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's just going to be hot and humid. And then a really intense heat wave will start to expand northeast or right on the periphery of that. A couple clusters of storms may pass through Monday and Tuesday. Those could be organized. Could even be a little bit of severe weather before the heat kind of caps everything and shut, uh, shuts things down by the middle part of next week. Seven day forecast, it just stays hot. 89 tomorrow, 89 Friday. And then we're into the 90s as we head for the weekend and 90s next week, Aaron. And for any widespread rainfall, it looks like that will not be until at least early next week. Definitely stay hydrated if you're going out this weekend. Oh, yeah, and the sunscreen because that sun will, I mean, you'll get a sunburn in 10 minutes in this kind of weather. Right. Thanks, Chad. I like the dog graphic, too. Yeah, it's Jaeger. <laughs> Jaeger's back, Mike. <laughs> Thanks for being interesting for the Cincinnati Reds. Sports Director Mike Clef is at the sports desk with more.